Hello, I'm Andrew Fryer, and in this demonstration of System Centre Essentials 2010, I want to focus on the capabilities that it inherited from Virtual Machine Manager. I've got the main SKI console open here, and as you can see, I've got the All Virtual Machines tab selected, and here I can see a number of virtual machines. Now, as I said before, I can't run all of these at once, and that's why some of them have got red exclamation marks against them, but where they are running, then it's much like I'm in Hyper-V Manager. Um, I can see the machine is running, We've got green triangle here. I can see what its name is. I can see what the host is. I can see what operating system it is, and I get more information down here. And you can see that if I click on the link, I can actually go into this particular virtual machine and start to use it. And there we are. What's interesting about that is that Ski itself is running on a virtual machine, as you can see in this entry here, and you can see the message down here that we've already connected to it, and indeed that's the window you're looking at. We can't make it sort of disappear up its own exhaust pipe. There are other ways that Virtual Machine Manager shows up. For example, in monitoring here, we get a Microsoft Hyper-V window here, we get a server role view, uh, we can see how the machines are behaving, and we can see how the network is behaving. Going further down this list, there's a whole bunch of uh, stuff for Virtual Machine Manager by virtue of the management pack that we've imported for that. I even get this nice shiny diagram view showing me how it all fits together. So I've got my ski environment here, and then I've got all my hosts. In this case, I've only got one host, hot black. And then under there, you can see that all the virtual machines are listed. And if I want to find out about more of one of those, say that BI client I was just looking at, then I can click on it and we can find out about its disk, the operating system, the network card, the two network cards, in fact, that it's got installed on that machine, all from one pane of glass. So very, very easy to look after. Now, I haven't got the full sophistication of Virtual Machine Manager here for a number of reasons. First of all, I've only got a limited amount of resource on my laptop. And secondly, I'm only one, running one physical host. So my options to move these machines around are somewhat limited. But I could, if I was running this on a cluster, um, I could migrate this to a new host using live or quick migration that we inherit from Windows Server 2008 R2. I can also manage its snapshots. I also have a number of templates that come when I install the product, which give me out-of-the-box virtual machines that I can just go and use. You can add to these, and essentially what I would do in this environment is install Windows Server 2008 R2 on a, a virtual machine, then sysprep it and then put it into here and then I could bring it out of this environment and start up a machine already with Windows Server 2008 installed on it and just with an auto answer file put the license keys and so on and so forth on. For details how to do that uh, you're best looking at the System Center Virtual Machine resources and I'll direct you to those on the attendant blog post that goes with this screencast. We also inherit pro tips from System Center Virtual Machine Manager and from Operations Manager. And they're exactly the same as they are in SCVMM and in Ops Manager. So again, I'm going to call those out on my post so you can see how to work those on a larger scale environment. If I go into reporting now, I also get a bunch of reports. These reports are also surfaced elsewhere in the system. So if I go back to my computers now and look at all virtual machines, you can see I've got them down the left hand side. So host utilization looks like this. And you can see that I actually had the thing running over Christmas and various machines have come up and down that process. And notice that the ski machine running System Center Essentials itself is not listed here. So that needs to be factored into your equation. However, it is reflected in the overall memory here. So that's a lightning run through of the Virtual Machine Manager capabilities built into System Center Essentials 2010. And you can see how it's seamlessly integrated into the rest of the product. So managing your virtual machines has probably never been easier than using this tool.